A cell phone has been arrested in California. It happened last night. You might remember this video. I do not. Mia Ponsetto approached 14-year-old Keon Harold Jr. at a New York City hotel last month, accusing him of stealing her phone. His father, jazz musician Keon Harold, recorded the encounter and accused Ponsetto of racial profiling. We have you, what you, you, see, you see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Now, the video shows Ponsetto trying to stop the teenager from leaving the hotel lobby and then rushing toward them. Hotel surveillance video shows the 22-year-old woman tackling Keon Jr. Now, he never had the phone. It turned up several minutes later at the hotel. New York City detectives went to California yesterday to coordinate Ponsetto's arrest in connection with the confrontation. She was contacted at a traffic stop in Ventura County near Los Angeles. Officials say that police had to pull her out of the car when she refused to get out. Now, in an exclusive interview, we had just done that interview yesterday afternoon. Her lawyer spoke with us before she was arrested. They told us that NYPD had not yet contacted them. Mia, help me understand, what made you think that Keon had your phone? That's why I'm confused. Why did you think he had it? I was approaching. What do you guys think happened there? Also, the daddy hat makes it so much better. It's so much funnier. I wonder why she singled out like a 14-year-old like a black kid. The, the people that had been exiting the hotel, because in my mind, anybody exiting is probably the one that uh, might be the one that is trying to steal my phone. I admit, yes, I could have approached the situation differently or maybe not yelled at him like that and made him feel, you know, maybe some sort of uh, inferior way, making him feel as if I was like hurting his feelings because that's not my intention. I, I consider myself to be super sweet. I really never ever meant. I consider myself to be super sweet. Well, okay then. I mean, if you consider yourself to be super sweet, then I, mean, I don't know why we're even here. What are we doing here? This is, this is a waste of time. For That's it cool. To, like I personally consider myself to be a fucking asshole. Everything she says in this video, I watched it before, Affluenza, yeah, literally. Everything she says in this video is so bad. Like, I can't, like, she literally does herself zero favors. Like, talk about, implicating yourself further like hurt him or his father either are you saying that you were stopping everybody in the lobby asking them about your phone is that what you're saying um not everyone just the just the people that in the meantime while well, while the hotel manager was checking the the footage i just wanted to do my part as best as i could you just described yourself <laughs> i wanted to do my part by beating a black 14 year old either are you saying that you were stopping everybody in the lobby asking them about your phone is that what you're saying um not everyone just the just the people that in the meantime while, while the hotel manager was checking the the footage i just wanted to do my part as best as i could you like literally she's like so close she'd be like no just the blacks you just described yourself as super sweet. I know you've seen the video. When you look at the video, the reaction seems very extreme. It doesn't seem like it's someone who's super sweet. How would you feel if you were alone in New York and, you know, you're going to spend time with your family during the holidays and you lose the one thing that gets stolen from you that has all of the access to the only way that you're able to get back home? I just don't think I would randomly attack people, is, is what I'm saying to you. I know you said you could have handled it better, but I just don't think I would randomly attack people in the manner in which you did what do you why is this like i find it kind of weird that like like she became a celebrity like this is like an advertising campaign because she was like literally fucking racist <laughs> what do you think when you look at that video you're standing there in your leggings and your flip-flops and it looks like you're just yeah, going what, nuts for lack of a better word no i'm not letting him walk away with my phone I don't feel that that is who I am as a person. I don't feel like this one mistake does define me, but I do sincerely from the bottom of my heart apologize that if I made the son feel as if I assaulted him or if I hurt his feelings or the father's feelings. I don't believe one mistake defines anybody, but I, I think when I look at that particular video, you're, you did more than just accuse him. The video seems to show that you physically attacked this young boy. You do see that too, right? But at the end of the day, the dad did end up, uh, like, slamming me to the ground and... I can't believe that a black man assaulted me after I tried to assault 
his 14 year old son. Like, first of all, dude, you're lucky that he didn't fucking end you, okay? The fuck do you mean? Like, what kind of dumb shit is this? The fuck do you mean? Like, listen, there is a, there is a disparity of power, okay? Between someone who's a 22 year old girl and a fully adult uh, uh, male, okay? Certainly. But like, in that situation, if you're literally fucking attacking that a fully grown adult male's son, 14 year old son, then no, you're gonna get fucking disproportionate use of force. Uh, pulling my hair and th throwing me and dragging me across the ground. So I, I will say that. Yeah, but, but I think, you know, the video we saw, it looked like you had just attacked his son. Yeah, the footage shows me attacking his son of attacking him how? Yelling at him? Yes. Okay, I apologize. Can we move on? I know you're saying I don't need to, I just want to apologize, but I do think that there. She's loving it, dude. Oh God, it's so bad. Oh God, throw the book. Throw the book at her. Everything but everything and the kitchen sink, dude. Oh God. Oh, it's so bad. Can we move on? There should be some Jail. kind. Literally jail. Oh God, I hate her so much. Oh, she's disgusting. Looked like you had just attacked his son. Yeah, the footage shows me attacking his son of attacking him how? Yelling at him? Yes. Okay, I apologize. Can we move on? I know you- Oh, it's, it's even worse the second time, You're dude. saying, I don't need to, I just want to apologize. But I do think that there should be some context to your actions that day. Okay, so basically, I'm- I'm a 22 year old girl. I am, I, I don't, I, racism uh, is, I said, I, how is one girl accused actions that day? Okay, so basically I'm, I'm a 22 year old girl. I am, I, I don't, I, racism uh, is, I said, I, how is one girl accusing a guy about a phone, a crime. Where <laughs> she didn't even say racism, by the way. Like, she knows what she did. The interviewer, in the most CBS this morning way possible, of course, doesn't mention racism. But she's like, I, uh, racism, what does it say about racism? Uh, I, I'm young. It's like, you know what you fucking did, okay? Where is the context in that? <laughs> Mia, what is the Mia, deeper, Mia, what is the deeper, Mia. what is the deeper Mia, story it's here? not, it's, it, that's not the problem. You have to at least understand your actions that day. You seem to have attacked this little boy, this young boy, this, this teenager. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone. And then it turned out he didn't even have your phone. That's the thing. I mean, you're, you're, you're saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I will say you're 22. I get it. It's so great, dude. Who knew that like entitlement of this magnitude would create so many unique opportunities of content in which people just keep telling on themselves, not recognizing that what they did was like pretty fucking bad. It is, it is wild. It's like we've had an entire week of rich, oftentimes white folk, literally just openly fucking admitting crimes and doing them and then openly admitting them and saying like, I don't get it. What's the problem? Why are you handcuffing me? This is so strange. What? Like, people say, oh, white privilege, white privilege this, white privilege that. Some of it's true, some of it's like uh, an exaggeration or misunderstood. But this is... <laughs> I, I don't know how else to describe this. Like, like, not thinking that you are going to suffer the consequences of your actions has to be from uh, living a life of delusion in which you literally think that it just, these actions are never going to come back to you. Sure. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone, and then it turned out he didn't even have your phone.
that's the thing. I mean, you're, you're, you're saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I will say you're 22. I get it. Enough. The hotel did have my phone. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. All right. Oh, wow. Great, Gail. Enough. 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 That was my favorite part. Enough. Now, the Harrell family's lawyer released a statement last night. They said this is not about an apology from someone who until a few days ago was claiming she did nothing wrong and, in fact, alleged that Keon Harrell Sr. had assaulted her. Someone who targeted a 14-year-old black teenager because of the color of his skin. We'll have more of our interview with Miss with, with, with Miss Mia Ponsetto on Monday. You know, I actually felt for... I mean, this is like... This is like cash me outside, how about that? Times like 20, okay? This is literally that that is happening right now except with like the cash me outside how about that bad baby or what however you say her name like all she did was just like larp as a black person which is you know it's like it's like a train wreck that you can't look away from but like what she's doing is a crime and like literal racism in the form of like a racist assault so I guess we're we are advancing as a society where we're now doing like uh what we consider to be acceptable is now one step above where it once was our NC speech deal coming notice how she called herself a 22 year old but the 14 year old kid a man oh yeah of course well he's black doesn't remorse or lack thereof inform sending sentencing I don't know the attorney there who was really trying to help her and then yeah. You know, when she interjected, uh, Mia would get upset about that. She insisted that she's not racial profiling. She has an explanation about that. No. And, you know, it was reported that an Uber driver returned the phone. She says that's not true. So right. she's <laughs> but, but, she never, wanted to make an apology. But I, as I said to her in the interview, I'm not sure where you're helping yourself. No, it's the, the perfect is, quote. He didn't have her phone. No, he did not. And he did not. <laughs> Interesting choice of hat, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Also, the point is the, the video footage is pretty clear, and she yeah. doesn't seem quite ready to acknowledge what it shows. You know, her lawyer. Sh Why are they just not saying it? This is what I mean about morning shows. Like, what do you want her to call fucking Gail the N word or something? Like, is that when you're going to be like, wow, it really does seem like this interview got racialized? Like, like what can a person do? What can a rich white person do where you're like, all right, you know, that that's okay. Like this is, this is a racism.